Oh man, oh man, oh man. I can't believe it. This is the first group stream video we've done in like a year. Very unreal to be doing this, but yeah, hello everyone. This is 22 Tiger Dude here. And of course it is the annual Academy Awards prediction, something I look forward to every single year with my lovely friends right over here. It feels weird doing this in April. You know, I'm not used to doing it in the month of April of all things, but I'm still looking forward to doing this nonetheless. It'll help make things feel a little bit normal for a little bit at least. I'm looking forward to seeing what just everyone has in stores because this season, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys would agree, been kind of a little all over the place, I guess you could say. Just a bit, um, just a bit. Just a bit all over the place. So, <laughs> But now, of course, I'm going to get to everyone one by one, starting off with Kevin Falk. Uh, hey guys, uh, yeah, we, we are back here again and uh, always very happy to be on uh, Tony's channel as always. Um, I'm very excited for this, you know, I feel like this is one of those things that um, even though the world isn't quite to the normal that we want it to be yet. This is just a good example of, um, you know, it's just a good way to get us back to what we love doing. And like you said, this is definitely a really different kind of award season for sure. So I'm very excited to see how it's going to go. I feel like our predictions are probably going to be like all over the map for some of these categories. So very excited to, uh, to be here for sure. Next one up is Jackson Fulcher. Hello. Um, Tony, I, I have something to say about your intro. You said lovely people, but Kevin's here. He is not a lovely person. No. There's a jet oh, going yeah. by. You, 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 you. Jackson is also here. Been <laughs> here in the chairs. Uh, but yeah, I just I wanted to correct that really quickly. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for this. You know, it's all, it's been fun doing the past two, so I'm very very excited to do this. Uh, and it's it's also great that Diego is is here. You know, that's it. That's my only shout out. Good to see you, Diego. Mwah. Good to see you too. <laughs> <laughs> and, since, and since Jackson basically introduced Diego, next one up, Diego, last year's champion of the predictions. All right, what's up, guys? This is Diego Coya. I want to say thank you to Tony for inviting me to be on this year's Oscar prediction video. I was on last year's, um, and I won that video, which is cool. And, um, yeah, I'm excited to be on, on this video uh, this year because this award season is exciting. Um, because it's hard to really predict. Uh, last year was a little bit um, easier. Uh, I felt more confident. This year, it's a little bit tricky. But um, I had fun last year doing these predictions, and I think this year will be a good year, even though it's been 2020 has just been weird and awful. But um, I'm, I'm glad to be here regardless. So I'm happy to be uh, on this video with Tony and everyone else except Kevin. Just kidding. But uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, so, uh, look forward to it. All of you Next can one. eat shit. <laughs> whoa, 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 language. Wow. I was just paraphrasing something that Andrew said in the private chat. So, you know. <laughs> Next one up is a newcomer here to the channel. Joining us for the first time for the predictions is none other than Henry Yui. Hey, it's me, Henry. And I'm here to make some predictions for the Oscars. It's like everyone said, it's an interesting year and I'm interested to see how it turns out because there are a lot of great movies and yeah. Period. Woo! Period. Shut the fuck up. Is the duck bell, Andrew Hayes. My name is what? <laughs> My name is who? My name is Chicka Chicka. Slushy. No, no, no. Shut up. This is my intro. You had your time. My, my name is The Duck. Um, I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing this year. Um, so if I beat any of these guys, they better be <clears throat> fucking embarrassed. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a fair assessment. Well, everyone, yeah. are we all ready to do this? Yeah. We are. All right. Yes. Of course, as I know, 
We're gonna go in a, on a little thing called Photoshop. We're gonna go in the Photoshop train. Oh my god! Oh my Photoshop. god! What a magical place! <clears throat> Yo, I remember this I from last year, and it was sexy as fuck. <laughs> is there a picture of a car? First one up we have here is actor in a leading role. We have Riz Ahmed for Sound of Metal, Chadwick Boseman for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Anthony Hopkins for The Father, Gary Oldman for Mank, and Steven Yeun for Minari. And for my prediction, I think it's going to go to Chadwick Boseman for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Kevin. All right. So uh, we talked. About, I talked about how um, early on that like there are a lot of categories that I'm not as sure about who's going to end up getting it. This is one of the few where I feel like I am fairly confident on what it's going to be here, and just because of the way things have gone, um, and because of the fact that he's pretty much been the front runner. I feel like since this movie came out, I also agree it is going to go to Chowick Bozeman. Well, obviously, it's going to be Gary Oldman. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Um, yeah. I yeah. Uh, it's a toss up. Anthony Hopkins, Chadwick Boseman, but I'm leaning towards Boseman. Uh, but if Hopkins does win, like, uh, I'll I'll be bummed because I'm personally rooting for Boseman. But that's a terrific <laughs> performance. But yeah, I, I'm more confident with Chadwick. My prediction is Chadwick Boseman will win Best Actor this year. Henry. My prediction is also Chadwick Boseman for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. And Andrew. All right, so we have uh, quite the predicament for me here. Do I go Anthony Hopkins just to say <laughs> fuck it and take the long shot or do I play it the smart way and just go with everybody? Because um, <laughs> I really don't know. I haven't been finally going. You've seen all these movies. What? You've seen all of these movies. I have not seen the father. So. And you know, you know what, my man? Just go with what your gut's telling you. Speak uh, to your gut. gut. What is your gut telling you? I, my gut and my brain are telling me just to listen to what everybody else is saying and be a boring ass bitch. And I'd <laughs> <laughs> say so Chadwick Boseman's gonna win because okay. You know that's peer pressure, we I love it. Like we do because, love that. You know what? If we're all yeah, we gotta love peer pressure. Women, we're all wrong together. We love the Among Us code. Next one up is actor in a supporting role. So we have Sasha Baron Cohen for The Trial of Chicago 7, Daniel Kaluuya, Judas and the Black Messiah, Leslie Odom Jr. for One Night Miami, Paul Racy for Sound of Metal, and Lakeith Stanfield for Judas and the Black Messiah. <laughs> and for me, um, <laughs> yeah, I know. I find that choice yeah. not true. But yeah, that's for, a little weird. That's a that's a bad snub. Yeah. But for me, I think the award is gonna go to Daniel Kaluuya. Um again, this is a really straightforward one. I feel like he's won it for basically everything. It would be a shock if he doesn't hear. So I do think this is absolutely gonna go to and rightfully go into Daniel Kaluuya for Judas and the Black Messiah. I'm gonna say this quick because there's a jet going by uh Daniel Kaluuya. <laughs> <laughs> amazing just amazing god bless jackson's background uh daniel kaluuya is my prediction henry i'm gonna say this goes to daniel kaluuya for judas and the black messiah and now andrew's gut what do you think <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking easy for me early <laughs> No, but in all seriousness, um, I, you know, Daniel Kluya is so good, like, it's like so, so, so good in it that I would be surprised that if he didn't win it, like, honestly, with, with the limited knowledge that I know, Daniel Kluya is the winner. All right. So, so far, we all seem to be agreeing. Very interesting. Now, for actress in a leading role, we have Viola Davis, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Andra Day for The United States versus Billy Holiday, Vanessa Kirby for Pieces of a Woman, Frances McDormand for No Madland, and Carrie Mulligan for Promising Young Woman. This one I've been personally really juggling because on the one hand, I know Violet Davis could get it. Hell, maybe even Frances could get it. But to be honest, I think I'm gonna go with Carrie Mulligan. I do believe that she could get the Oscar for Promising Young Woman. 
Um, to say that this would be the hardest category is really putting it lightly. This has to be, I think, one of the most all over the place Oscar races for an actress category that I've seen in such a long time. I feel like there really is no clear front runner here. So you really are just kind of going with your gut. And yeah. I, I really do feel strongly that because of the fact that she has won it more than others, I also agree it probably is going to go to Carrie Morgan here. Hurry up. All right. I, I, I did. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Jack. <laughs> I'm just going to say nothing next time. I'm going to say All right. nothing. All right. Come on. All right. It's my turn to read off this speech I have written to my left. It's going to take two minutes. Um, I'm actually, I'm going to go with Viola Davis, um, just simply because she won the SAG award. And I know that's the, the, the Screen Actors Guild is the majority of the people voting for this branch of the Oscars. So I will, uh, go with Viola on this one. Although well, I do love, I, I do love Carrie Mulligan a lot. I love her, love her, love her, love her. Have you seen Wildlife? You guys seen Wildlife? It's great. I have not seen Wildlife. Yeah, it's great. She's an amazing terrific. film. She's More terrific. people need to watch it. So yeah, that's Viola Davis is my pick though. All right, so I would like to start off by saying that all five of these women gave phenomenal performances. Um, and this was a tough category to predict. So my final answer, my final prediction is Viola Davis. I just have a gut feeling that she's yeah, going to be yeah. taking home the Oscar. So All right. Favorite. Nice. This has been a pretty hard race, but I think I'm going to stick with hashtag Team Mulligan. For promising young woman. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. Um, I was gonna. Um, I, I was probably gonna go Carrie Mulligan, but then I, I was paying attention to, attention to what Jackson was saying, and what he said about the stag thing makes a lot of fucking sense and really changed my perspective on this award, which I know fucking nothing about. <laughs> <laughs> so I will be predicting Viola Davis. It's literally split right down the middle. I love it. It is. Yeah, and, and this it's is like, this is like literally our all first of us one. are wrong. Like it could be McDormand easily. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Or it could like, be Gay, honestly, like it, it, like, got the Globes. The only one that I didn't. Or it really could be Jesse Buckley. Oh. Kirby, but um, I don't know. Like I was going to go with Mulligan because I don't know why the yeah. fuck not. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think Kirby's getting it. Or it could be Aubrey Plaza from Black Bear. Oh, wait. Oh. Sad boy hours. <clears throat> or it could be Sydney Flanagan. Oh. All right. Well, th that wasn't that funny. Or it could be. Uh, it could be Zendaya. Or, or it could be. That's Mal right. Yeah. Wait, I got it. Or it could be um, Lita Cardellini in Scooby Doo. No. It's That's not. true. Good, 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 good pick. Now, next one up, we have this actress in a supporting role. So we have Maria Bakalova for Borat 2, because I have not said saying that long. You got to say the whole title, Tony. Borat. I'll give you a call for the father. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. oh, my God. Amanda Seyfried for Mank. And Yu Zhang Yoon for Minari. So... This is another one where I've been kind of thinking long and hard about, but I think at the end of the day, it's going to go to Yi Jung Yoon for Minari as my prediction. This one is so fucking tough. Uh, I feel like for a while, uh, Cypherad was the front runner, and then she won like nothing, so she wasn't, and then someone else was the front runner. Um, and I've just like I've been having a really hard time trying to figure out like who this is really going to be. But based on what I've seen and the amount of wins that she has, I kind of feel like this is going to go to uh, Maria Bakalova for Borat subsequent movie film. Boy, Glenn Close really sticks out like a sore thumb, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, what are the odds you go with Glenn Close? Is it going to be a tie again with it. her and another yes, actress? I'm, I'm going a tie with Maria Bakalova and Yajung Manar. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> personally, I would love for Olivia Coleman to win this, but I know she's kind of out of the race at this point. Um, I will be going, same logic I had for picking Viola Davis, I'll be going with Yajung Yun for Minari since she won the SAG. I am also going with um, Ga Jun Yong for Minari. All right, this is 
quite a category, but I think I will also be Team Yu Jung Yoon for Minari. And Andrew. Um, listen, I'm Team Everybody but Kevin. <laughs> wow. So join our team. Great <laughs> lunch. I, again, only because Jackson mentioned the SAG Awards, so I go, ah, that, that makes Wow, sense. just going with majority. So boring. It's pretty smart majority. <laughs> no, it's literally because ja Jackson could have been like, It oh, won't be when you lose. I'm, I'm I know Jackson like, wants playing close to win. Jackson, <laughs> All right, next one we have here is anime feature. We got Onward, Over the Moon, Sean the Shape movie from Armageddon, Soul, Wolfwalkers, Soul. I don't need to go into details as to why, just on um, Soul. I, yeah, just just put my name next to it. Like it's yeah. it's obvious what's gonna win here. It's you probably just put my name next to it. <laughs> just just put the J, dude. Yeah, go. <laughs> yep. Uh, I agree. So, Henry. Yep, it's Soul. And, uh, and as it should be, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Even, I agree. even with what I don't know, I know that Soul is winning. Oh, yeah. Man, that was the fastest we, we went with picking this one. <laughs> that, that, that was the fastest we've gone through this yeah. category. <laughs> I think it's the fastest we've ever been with a category. <laughs> yeah. And the winner is Missing Link. Oh, my God. <laughs> and now, so. The winner is is uh, the Crudes. Stop. <laughs> and now, since we already moved on very quick with animated feature, now we have cinematography. We got Judas and the Black Messiah, Mank, News of the World, No Madland, and The Trial of the Chicago Seven. And um, for me, considering how much talk I've been hearing lately, um, I think No Madland is definitely the front runner to win this award. Kevin. 100% it's going to be Nomad Land, and as it should be. Yeah, um, I kind of was flip flopping like I was, because Mank won like in a cinematography society award. Um, but I was thinking, yeah, like, I was you know, going between of, with Mank too. Yeah, yeah I but I, saying, but I, yeah. I'm going with Nomad Land only because that's the one that I feel like I've personally heard the most talk about, you know. Um, mm -hmm. As far as like yeah. the beautiful imagery and cinematography, as opposed like makes kind of an obvious pick. Nomad Land is like yeah, so I'll, I'll go with Nomad Land. Nomad Land is my prediction. Mm -hmm. I will also be putting my money on Nomad Land. I, I guess Nomad Land. Peer right. pressure strikes again, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, take peer pressure man, all the way. Are, you guys are really. You guys are. <laughs> It really easy for me. You all just say all the same fucking words. <laughs> all right. Hey, some of them are not as easy. Some of them are not as easy. Yeah, remember actress? Oh yeah, uh, that, that was. That's what. Yeah, that's why I'm glad Jackson goes. Yeah, Viola Davis with the SAG Award. Yeah. Next one up we have is costume design. So we have Emma, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, Mank. Mulan and Pinocchio. I think Mare's Black Bomb is gonna win costume design. Um, this one again, there are definitely some good choices here, but I feel like considering <clears throat> that usually how this award plays out is what has like you know the most awards already in other categories usually ends up taking this one. Um, so that's yeah. probably gonna go brainy. Damn, I didn't know Robert Zemeckis already released his Pinocchio movie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, that's the Italian. Oh, this is the one you got in the Netherlands. I know. I know. I'm going with Ma Rainey's Black Bottom for this one. Actually, yeah, I don't want to with ending things. I agree, Henry. I'm going with that. Yeah. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom is also my prediction. I'm also going toward Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Give me, give me Pinocchio. I'm just kidding, Geek Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. <laughs> the only time you strike race from us is the new Pinocchio. <laughs> John wanted okay, to no, all of that talking. Pinocchio movie. <laughs> yeah, what, yeah. What, are you, what were you doing, Diego? No. Yeah, I, have, I haven't seen that movie. <laughs> yeah, I'm the only asshole who saw it. Yeah, yeah Diego, how dare you get that negative on a letter box? I'm so offended at my review. You don't understand it. How dare you get that negative review? So, next one up we have is directing. So, we have. Thomas Venterberg for another round, David Fincher for Mank, 
Lee Isaac Chung for Minari, Chloe Zhao for No Madland, and Emerald Fennell for Promising Young Woman. And for me, when it comes to directing, since I know she's definitely been the talk, I think it's going to go to Chloe Zhao for No Madland. Listen, there's a lot of great choices here for sure, but there to me, there's a clear front runner, and I am very happy to say that Chloe Zhao is going to get her lawn overdue award for No Man Land. Did you say lawn? Fuck <laughs> off. A lawn overdue. Um, yeah, uh, well, Chloe Zhao is the only name I recognize because she's about to direct a, mar- a Marvel movie, and Marvel is the only <laughs> the only studio making good movies these days. So, oh, yeah. Uh, I guess I guess I'm gonna have to go with Chloe Zhao for Nomadland. Um, yeah, easily. <laughs> yeah, <Chloe Zhao. laughs> I didn't even need to say the title. I'm just like, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I I just love that. He just said, um, yeah, yeah easily. Just this. <laughs> yeah. 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 But I'm also Team Chloe Zhao for Nomadland. Hey, uh, Jackson, did Chloe Zhao win the SAG? That, well, that's that's an acting that's an acting category, so she wasn't going to be up for that. I I know it's a joke. Oh, I, I didn't catch on. <laughs> the stug. Yeah. The, the, the dag Chloe award. Zero, the director's the kid. The dag. Yeah, it's just it's just one award. Guild. I don't know. E- even though Chloe's out, did not win the sag. I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I guess. Kevin, I'm, Kevin, I'm surprised you didn't go with Thomas Vinterberg for another round. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> this is the category I normally have literally no knowledge of, if I'm going to be honest with y'all. But we have Documentary Feature, and we have Collective, Crip, cra- Crip Camp, The Crip Mole Cramp. Agent. Yeah, Crip, Cramp. Crip <laughs> Camp, The Mole Agent, <laughs> My Octopus Teacher. Great and- title. Time. I've been thinking hard between time and my octopus teacher, but I've noticed my octopus teacher has actually been gaining a lot of wins. So I'm going to go with that one for my prediction. Kevin. Interesting. Interesting. Because for me, when I look at these, interesting. Um, interesting. I feel like there is a, a front runner that you did not mention. Um, and for me, it is a uh, collective. What the hell is that? I don't know. I just heard it's won, it's won a lot of awards. <laughs> oh, wow. that That's interesting. That's that's really persuasive. Psych, I'm going with my octopus teacher. Hell yeah, boy. Uh, uh, off a whim, pretty much. I don't know anything about this. <laughs> Diego. Uh, yeah, I have not seen any of these movies. And the prediction I went with was time, because that's the one I've heard the most out of all of these. I know I do accept the fact that that's probably not going to win, but that's fine. I'm keeping that up with I know Stuckman liked it, so it's it's possible, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't if, know. If anything, if my octopus teacher doesn't win, I could totally see time just taking the award. Oh, obviously. yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I think I am going to go with my octopus teacher as well. And Andrew, you have no majority to rely on this time. So which one are you? <laughs> yeah, this is uh, <laughs> it's literally all over the uh, map. I mean, I'm kind of leaning towards um my octopus teacher because that name is pretty dope. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's also uh, from uh, from probably a distant no, relative uh, of David Ehrlich, because Pippa Ehrlich. Wait, hold on. I haven't. I haven't. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I have I, I have heard of time quite a bit, so I might go with time. I'm only going with I'm going with my octopus teacher because I would feel bad making time. <laughs> so yeah, my that's a good reason. I hope. Next one up is now documentary short. Cody made my choice for So we have Colette. A concerto is a conversation. Do not split. Hunger War or a love song for Latasha. So obviously I don't have any knowledge with this, but I just went ahead and predicted a concerto as a conversation for my prediction. 
All right, can I just say right off the bat, it's really great to see the Kieran Knightley film from 2018, Colette, finally get its due justice. It's a little weird it's on the short subject documentary, but it's really good to see it in there. However, I digress. Um, there, <laughs> there are very, it's almost like I just said that. Because what a I knew this a sexy sounding jet. Anyway, a groaner of a gag. There are only, there's only one film that I actually like recognize, like I, I've heard of before. And so I'm, I guess I'll just predict that, that one because I think it has uh, the most potential of winning, and that is a love song for Latasha. I, I hate to be on the side of the guy who just made the worst joke of the night, but I guess I'll go for a love song for <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with my, um, my a love song for Latasha um, because I, I've heard the most talk about that out of all these guys personally. But that's the only reason why. Awesome. Henry. Right. I will also go for a love song for Latasha. And Andrew. Take a wild fucking guess, Tony. A love song for Latasha. Um the what everybody else said, but you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're not gonna give it a to Colette, the great Kira Knightley film. I like how Andrew's main contribution has just been, no, yeah, well, whatever they said. <laughs> Next one up, we have his film editing. So we have The Father, No Madland, Promising Young Woman, Sound of Metal, and The Child Chicago 7. And um, this one, I've been thinking hard between Sound of Metal and The Child Chicago 7, but I'm just going to go with my gut and say Child Chicago 7. I do think this could be the one Oscar this movie would take home that, that night, but obviously we'll see. But that's just what I'm personally predicting. Uh, so what about you, Kevin? Bro, I don't fucking know. Here's the thing. This is really the only logic I have. I've heard before that a lot of what this category represents usually results in what's going to win Best Picture. And without spoiling, I'm just going to go ahead and give it to uh, what I think is going to win, and that's Nomadland. Uh, okay. That's a pretty faulty logic. <laughs> you literally, just spoiled, literally, 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 if I said, oh, I'm not going to spoil what I said for Best right. Picture, but I'm giving it to Nomadland. Um, You're picking Nomadland for Best Picture. Um, so funny story real quick when i saw the father and the edited by credit came up i saw yorgos and my mind mm. changed his last name to lanthimos <laughs> so i thought the guy who made the favorite edited the movie <laughs> pretty funny i'm going with trial of the chicago seven though <laughs> because because when I, I i think about this like which one has like the most like obvious kind of editing and trial of the chicago seven just has like the most that makes the movie like incredibly fast paced. So that's yeah, that's true. The nonlinear structure. Shut up. Yeah, I am actually going to go with the father, and uh, to briefly explain awesome. why, I I believe the father. Um, this is the only award uh, that it's going to win, especially if you've seen the film. The editing really sticks out. I mean, I think all the editing oh, in all these movies are great, but I just the editing in the father is just way too good for me to just not think it'll win. Uh, I just think The Father will be that one movie that won the one Oscar, and I think it'll be for this. Like, it has... I hope so. yeah, that, that's why I, I'm going to pick uh, The Father. Yeah. I just think it's going to win this one. If, if I was looking at it as just, like, which one do I like the most, I'd go yeah. with The Father. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. I would I would also pick yeah, The Father, same. too, but I, but I do think... Um, <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. I, I just have a feeling that it might it might be the, the winner for this award. I think I'm going to give it to Sound of Metal. And Andrew. Oh, wow. You guys really are making it be now, Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, now this one, now this one for sure. Woman. Okay, yeah. now this one for sure you have no majority to rely on, for the most part at least. So where are you going to uh, stand with this, Andrew? I don't know. I mean, two people already did try out Chicago 7. Why? So you're going to go with that I one? Mean, or? No, I'm not going to go with that one, and I'll explain why. I need some points here. I need to win. I'm in it to win it. I, I need uh, to do something that not a lot of people have done. And Diego seems pretty confident. <laughs> so you're going to be on Team I'm going Diego? With the father. Okay. I mean, signing awesome, up awesome. Champ is not a bad idea. 
team K. By the way, by the way can I just say? No, I not that how, show. Not that show. <laughs> by the way, can I just say I love how all of these have a mark except for promising young woman. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I thought he was going to. I do mean, that. I thought it's about. I uh, I thought about it, but none of you really seemed all that confident that it was promising young women. So I mean, I can't really be that confident that it's promising young women. If it's promising young women, I'll be upset because you know what? That would have been a big baller move. I'm gonna now, laugh next one. That. No, me too. Oh if if that's the one that wins, and then nobody picked it. <laughs> now, next one up here we have is international oh. feature film. It's no longer foreign language film. And for this one, we've got another round. Better Days, Collective, The Man Who Sold His Skin, and Quo Vadis Ada. I, I really butchered that, and I really apologize. Um, but for my prediction, I think it's going to go to another round. I've heard so much about that movie, so... I really think it's going to go to that one. Yeah, uh, this one for me, um, I think is pretty obvious as well. First of all, can I just say I'm very happy that Minari is not on this list because it is not an international feature film. It takes place in America. And just because they speak another language does not mean it's an international film. But anyways, put my name next to another round. Next person. Jackson. Good soapbox, my guy. I'm sure everyone on Twitter is going to retweet that for days, my man. Good job. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm I'm going to go with uh, the one that was also it was also nominated in best directing. God damn, nominated in best directing. Uh, that is Cold War. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm Enough kidding. <laughs> that's that's a reference to when Kevin predicted. Yeah, that dude, I was gonna make the same. Another round. Another I was round. gonna make that. I was gonna make that same joke, and I'm. I'm Another round for sure. Same exact joke. And because um, it's just been winning every right. other um award mm -hmm. show, and I think the best director nominee just solidified it. I think so. Yes, I am going to be giving another round, another letter. That's his name. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, really good. Yeah, that was good. That was good. That was good. Everyone, everyone, everyone let's, just, let's just give a round of applause to him. Right? That was really <laughs> fun. That was really good. Beautiful. Guys, and now, uh, and I really need just silence for this decision. I need silence for this decision because my mind hasn't been made up, and I just need to think about it for a second. Uh, shut up! I'm thinking. I think I don't know what's telling me this, but I think that another round is going to win this award. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good pick. Very good thinking, my man. Thank you. I'm glad to be so insightful today. <laughs> now, next one up here we have is makeup and hairstyling. So we got Emma, Hillbilly Elegy, Maurice Black Bottom. Mank and Pinocchio, and for me, I think it's gonna go to Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm pretty much on the same end as you, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. I know some people yeah. think they're Billy Elegy, but I don't, I don't think that's happening. <laughs> I swear to God, if Hillbilly Elegy wins this one, I'm going with Paul <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I legitimately no. see people say like, "Oh, it's gonna win," and I'm like, "No." It's gonna win. <laughs> I'm going to pick uh, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom as well. I'll also be doing Ma Rainey. Uh, part of me does want to do Hillbilly Elegy just because, you know, that'd be fucking funny. If I was <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's that no, go ahead, Andrew. I thought you said that. Yeah. Out of the realm of possibilities. Um, it's not out of the realm of possibility that Hillbilly Elegy could win, but again, I, I can't lose any points here. I gotta go with the group. Uh, <laughs> he's like, oh. Imagine we all lose these. If Hillbilly, get any Hillbilly oh, Elegy won over <laughs> Bob Rainey's, uh, that would be worse than Suicide Squad winning over Star Trek Beyond. I, I, I can agree with that. Honestly. <laughs> Next one up here we have is original score. So for original score, we got The Five Bloods, Mank, Minari, News of the World, and Soul. And for my prediction, I think it's going to be Soul's Award. 
Um, I'm going to just give it to the one that absolutely deserves it and will win, and that is Soul. Man, I'm having a hard time picking between these Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross scores. I don't know. Uh, it's going to be Soul, though. Yeah. <laughs> so It's got to be Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. And John <laughs> Which <Baptiste>. one? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn it. <laughs> Henry trying to throw us off. It's got to be a score. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give it to uh, my favorite movie on this list, which is News of the World. Um, uh, I'm kidding. I haven't even seen News of the World. <laughs> oh, I was about to, I was about to <laughs> beat you ass. Now, next one up we have is Original Song. So obviously for original song, we got Fight For You, Hear My Voice, Husevic, OAC, um, and Speak Now. So for my prediction, I think it's going to go to Speak Now. This is a weird year for original songs. Uh, a lot of these aren't ones that like. I feel like a lot of people... Did you say son? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, original songs? <laughs> I feel like there's there's a lot here that people don't really either remember or they just haven't really heard. But it has been clear to me that there is a clear front runner, which is Speak Now. Well, if I'm going to pick anything, it's going to be the one that has the the um, male actor from music. So uh, Speak Now. <laughs> oh, no. Not that. <laughs> Not that at all. We're Sia's award. No. Not that one. Yes, this is for Sia. That's what he says when he gets it. Uh, speak now, for sure. I'm also doing Speak Now. Tony, you already know where to put that fucking day. Put it right next to Speak Now. All right, I got you. I'm my. very excited for them ACA. to get out this award without ACA, them performing. Yes. Because they're not performing at all. Yeah. Oh, they're not? No, they're not. Uh, oh, it'll be quick this year. <laughs> we did it. We finally got a quick Oscars. Yes. It only took a hours. pandemic. Now, next one up we have is production design. So we got The I Father, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, Mank, News of the World, and Tenet. And for me, I think it's going to go to Mank. Um, so I'm kind of struggling here between Mank and The Father, mainly because I do agree with Diego that I think The Father is going to get a soul award. Ah, uh, fuck it. I'm going to throw a curveball here. The Father. <clears throat> um, Jackson. I love what The Father did with its production design, um, but I think if I'm – if I'm trying to look at it as like cynical Academy member, it's really only for like one reveal later on. Like that's really obvious. While as Mank, they, you know, they capture like an like an entire era in so many different scenes. So I'm going with Mank on this one. And News of the World, yeah. what production design? They were out in the desert. Yeah. <laughs> it's a green screen. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go with Mank. I. Predict mm -hmm. it's going to be the only Oscar it wins, even though it's nominated for ten Oscars, I think. But I think it's going to win this one. <laughs> what, what a yeah, cool twist I, of fate! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. this is the only Oscar it's taking it home. Yeah. All right. I will also be on Mank side. Um. Let me think. Um. I guess I gotta agree with the one award that the father's gonna win, but I already used my one award that the father's gonna win token, so I guess I gotta go with me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good. So next one up is animated short film, and we got Burrow, Genius Losi, If Anything Happens, I Love You, Opera, and Yes, People. So my prediction here is if anything happens, I love you. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad it did. So, um, in most years, I feel like the Pixar one would probably win here, but because of the fact that it was such an impactful short film and everyone was really talking about it, um, I'm definitely giving this to If Anything Happens, I Love You. Jackson. Which it also should win. Wow. If Anything Happens, I Love You, because Laura Dern, yo. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I forgot she was Wait. involved with that. Yeah, okay. That makes me want to vote for it even more, even though Same. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. It's on Netflix. Watch it. Yeah, it's, it's it's very emotional. <laughs> if anything happens, yeah, I love yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You didn't say please. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's on Netflix if you want to watch it, Andrew. Thank you for telling me in such a nice way, Tony, and not yelling at me. I'm gonna, I, I, I you need know, time. That's I'm here. If anything happens, I love you. And now, Andrew the Duck himself. Oh, let me see. Such a hard decision. Um, if anything happens, you're, you're thinking I about opera you. for sure, right? Sure. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, no, but yeah, I'm gonna go with what everybody else is saying because, as I said before, if we're wrong, we're wrong together. <laughs> yeah, period. Yeah, Tony, yep. I love how I love how in other years, like you and I have taken the time to watch like all of these, and this year it's like we don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh no, I did want to try to catch some of these. I just didn't have the time to, to be honest. Yeah, but I will. But I do want to try to catch these eventually after the award season. We still could. We still could. Yeah, we could honestly. Not now, though. Yeah. No, obviously, yeah, not now. Let's watch them right now. Oh, yeah, right this second. Come on, stop right, the You video. know what? You know what, guys? I'm going to stop this video. We're all going to watch all these. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you, but no need to finish this prediction. Good night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we know it's good one. <laughs> Next one up we have here now is live action short film. Oh, my God. And um, so we got Filling Through. The Letter Room, The Present, Two Distant Strangers, and Why I. Uh, this one, I've been thinking between The Letter Room, um, you know, the one with Oscar Isaac, because I've heard a lot about that one. But then I've also been hearing a lot about Two Distant Strangers. So between the two, my gut just decided to go with Two Distant Strangers on this one. Yeah, I think with the recent reception it's been getting and also the fact that it, it literally just dropped on Netflix and I feel like is the most like widely known of all these, uh, I'm probably also going to give it to Two Distant Strangers. Um, <coughs> hello. 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 <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I had to collect that over quick. Um, um, I'm going with Good the letter mind. room because Poe Dameron, yo. You got to support that Poe. Poe from Teletubbies. That's wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna choose two distant strangers because that's the only one I've heard of in this category. Very spicy, my man. Henry. I'm going with three close people who know each other. <laughs> that, is, yeah. two distant... <laughs> that is the name. Very beautiful. And now Andrew. Wait, Jackson, why'd you go with against everybody else? Um, because Poe Dameron, yo. Ah, solid argument. But it ain't no SAG award, so I guess I gotta go. (laughs) 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 All right, next one up here is now sound. It's just one category now. Oh, I know who's winning this one. Oh, yeah. So for this one, we got Greyhound, Mank, News of the World, Soul, and Sound of Metal. Sound of Metal. I don't really have to say anything else. I think, hands down, uh, Sound of Metal. And this is one I am confident is winning this one. I mean, it's it's literally in the title. Just yeah. put the letter next to it, Sound of Metal. This is like Soul. We're all just gonna. <laughs> yeah. This is Soul where we're just not gonna like. Sound of Metal. Wait, we're just gonna yeah. go through. Sound of Metal. Put my name. Put my letter. Wait, wait. Don't, don't assume what I'm gonna choose. Maybe I want to. Maybe I want to choose something different. That's true. Maybe you pick Greyhound. Sound of Metal. Well, it ain't music. Sound of Metal. <laughs> 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 and uh, and, and uh, thank God for that. Um, <laughs> yeah, honestly, right. uh, I'm gonna go with the, the sound of Mank. Uh, that's the one I'm going with officially. That's uh, not a movie. Nah, I'm kidding. Oh, it's that's my favorite movie. Be... 
Sound of Mank? Um, yeah, no, I mean, you could tell. I mean, come on, like, it has to be Sound of Metal. Like, even I know this one's gonna win. Like, and this ain't even me just going with the group. It's just me <clears throat> knowing that this is gonna win. Yeah. Watch it will be Greyhound now. It's like with last, <laughs> yeah. Next one up we have is Visual Effects now. So, for this category, we got Love and Monsters, The Midnight Sky, Mulan, The One Only Ivan, and Tenet, and, um... I don't know about you guys, but I think Mulan is for sure going to take this. Um, no, you no. son I'm of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, uh, in all seriousness, I think uh, Tenet's going to win this one. I don't know, man. The one and only Ivan, I feel like, is going to be a big <laughs> upset here. No, it's, it's Honestly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't even see that movie. <laughs> hey. Don't disrespect Danny DeVito like that. Danny DeVito is not in the one and only Ivan. <laughs> Um, where is Artemis I'm Fowl? Like pretty sure. Yeah. I would prefer Artemis Fowl. No, yeah, where's, <laughs> where's Birds of Prey? There was there were visual shots. Okay, shut up, shut up. I'll go with Tenet because Jesus Christ. I'll go with Tenet because Jesus Christ. I'll, cool cat shut up. Coronavirus. Let him speak. I'm going with Tenet because the Academy <laughs> usually picks stuff that's a little more subtle, and I feel like Midnight Sky or like Love and Monsters stuff like that's a little too obvious. There now you can talk <laughs> shit. That is, that is what I, have. I don't know. You see Brian Cox's name in Love and Monsters. <laughs> it's terrible. Brian Cox so, the actor? Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, he might be. making his visual effects debut. I know, very amazing. Um, I can confirm Danny DeVito is in the one and only Ivan, which makes me want to vote for that. <laughs> But I look like quite the fool if I was wrong here. So oh wait, yeah, he is. I just looked. Yeah, so did I. That's what I <laughs> just said. Well, he is. But uh, yeah, I guess I gotta go with Tenem here. Now we got adapted screenplay. So for adapted screenplay, we got Borat Two: The Longest Title. The Father, Nomadland, One Night in Miami, and The White Tiger. And um, I think this is Nomadland's award. I mean, y'all are tripping if you don't think The White Tiger is going to win this. No, it's going to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <coughs> solid joke. Not. Haha. Giving it to Nomadland. My heart wants The Father to win, but Nomadland's going to win it, so. Honestly, same though. That's a mood right there. <laughs> now, it's going to be, I'm thinking of ending things. Oh, wait. Uh, no I wish. Lands. I wish. <laughs> um, I, if, I, I, I mean, I am going to go with Nomadland. Uh, for, our, for obvious reasons, of course. Like, duh. Um, well, obviously, it's going to go to I just want to say, I. <laughs> Now we got one more category before we get to best picture, and that is original screenplay. So for original screenplay, we got Juice and the Black Messiah, Minari, Promising Young Woman, Sound of Metal, and The Trial of Chicago 7. And I do think Promising Young Woman is going to win original screenplay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be Promising Young Woman. Jackson. Y'all see the way that as soon as Kevin was called, he dropped his phone and just looked at the camera like, oh, yeah, I, I was paying attention the whole time. I was looking I'm, at something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving it to a uh, promising young woman. <laughs> yeah. Well, you are not a, a promising young man. All right, Jackson? <laughs> worst joke. You top the other not worst joke of the night. <laughs> Damn. And the great words of Diego, that, that was joke. flatter than some pancakes. I remember Diego made that joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I make these jokes just to make Jackson groan. Wait, 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 can we talk about the fact that Henry just asked me what my Instagram is when he proceeds to message me on Instagram? That has nothing to do with him. I just need to call him out for it. I, I don't understand this logic. Moving on. All right, let's go ahead and let Diego speak. Go ahead. Diego. I want Promptly Young Woman to win, and I believe it will win, so that's my choice. I think it will be promising young woman as it should be. 
I think it should be promising young woman because I said so. That's why. Oh boy. All right, everyone. Now we're here. Best picture. So for best picture, we got The Father, Judas and the Black Messiah, Mank, Minari, No Madland, Promising Young Woman, Sound of Metal, and The Trial of Chicago 7. Really had to think hard on this one. Like very, very hard. But I think considering how many wins uh, No Man Land, No Mad Land has been getting, and obviously just the amount of love people have for that one, I think that one is honestly going to be the yeah. best picture winner of this year. Kevin. So here we are, best picture. Uh, this is we one know. Of those Move on, like, hurry up. I feel like hurry up. I feel like, I feel like it has flipped a lot the entire award season. However, after a few wins, it is clear to me there is a front runner, and it is Nomadland. <laughs> Fuck you, Jackson. Hey, you want to do that again, but less annoying? JK, don't do that again. No, no mute him. Okay. JK um, Simmons. Eh? Go ahead, Jackson. Oh, God. No, not JK Rowling. Well, no, I'm going to. No, I'm. Not. Wow. Uh, my heart has it for the father, but my brain tells me it's going to be Nomadland. Sorry, Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. Diego. I also believe Nomadland will win Best Picture. Henry. They could give it to the seven, but I believe that the Oscar will go to La La Land. <laughs> 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 Oh, man. And now, Andrew. Listen, I'm pretty upset with this because, once again, for, like, I don't know, like, the billionth year in a row, they snubbed Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed. Oh, my but God. It's been 16 know. years. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, it's what did they get? It was a bad years. movie anyway. Yo, shut up. This is my time. You had your time. Yeah, they, <laughs> they snubbed it for a Razzie. Down. Kevin clearly doesn't have taste. <laughs> but anyway, I guess I'm going to have to go with Nomadland because I would look like quite the fool if I didn't. Indeed. Not, a deep film. Normally when we're predicting best picture, <laughs> well, I notice everyone will have like their different picks, but this is like one of the rare gears where we all just agree on the best picture winner. I feel yeah, like it wasn't as divisive as I thought it was going to be. Only like on a few awards it was, but for the most part, yeah, everyone agreed with like everything. So. Yeah, I feel like it was like this the best picture. Like there wasn't a clear front runner, and then like all of a sudden there was. So. Yeah, because yeah. I'm not because I'm not gonna lie. Part of me was thinking, <laughs> hey, maybe uh, they'll throw a curveball and give it a promising young woman. But then I'm seeing all these uh, this oh, Nomadland winning like this award and this award. Yeah. I'm just all like, it's one okay, too much yeah, now I have to go Nomad. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, on that note, we did it, guys. We went through all of the Oscar predictions, Yay. and that was honestly. A lot of fun. Obviously, just hearing these guys butt heads at each other is always entertaining to watch. It's um, well, actually, no, they're butting heads at me, but sure. But there is a story here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's someone who is heavily involved with the cult and has since tried to stray away from it. Exactly. <laughs> nice. Shut up. You. No. Peter Rabbit was indeed a deep fill. I'm going to go to everyone one by one so they could say like their goodbyes and whatever they want to say to go with the bang. So, Kevin, you know, uh, I'm, I know you got a channel and all that good stuff. Uh, so any promotion, all that jibber jabber, my man? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, drop my YouTube down there. Twitter's there. I know Tony is definitely going to put it where I'm saying. So it's right there. But no, in all seriousness, this was a lot of fun for sure. I, I very much loved uh, getting to do this. This is Always one of my favorite things to do around Oscar season. I'm glad we were able to even have an Oscar season this year because I know people were like largely debating whether or not it was actually going to happen. So the fact that we did have one, I think that is um, really great for sure. This was a lot of fun. And uh, because I'm probably going on a tangent here, we're just going to cut to the, 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 the next person. Thank you for having me. Yay.
Go ahead, All right, Jackson. guys. So I, I'm really excited for this lawn overdue Oscar <laughs> ceremony. There's gonna be some great songs there too. <laughs> <laughs> now, now um, that is a code for uh, us right there. My back um, is to you. I'm gonna do this right. for the rest of the, the video. Um, thank, thanks for having me again. These are always fun. This, it's been fun the past two years. I'm glad we got a third one under my belt. This was great. Real excited for it. Um, I'm wishing Diego luck because he's the champ. And he, man, look at him, he's sexy as fuck. Congrats, my guy. I'm already going to congratulate you. You're probably going to win this. Congrats, dude. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, Tony, for inviting me here once again. Um, it was a fun video. Uh, I'm looking forward to see uh, what the results ultimately are. And, um, yeah, thanks again for having me. Appreciate it. Something's brewing at D&D. &D. No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> wow! How did she know? All right. Yeah. Well, thank you. My favorite is the one where for he having me. It's Wait, oh, the ghost is late? Wow. <laughs> we, we got him, boys. All we right. got him. Go ahead, Henry. Continue. Ladies All right. Gentlemen, you can it. follow me on social media. Don't follow me in real life because that's weird, especially <laughs> when there's a pandemic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we don't want that. Go movies. Very blessed. All right. And now. Thank you. Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's my turn. Now the floor. Well, I didn't even you. say anything funny. I thought it was gonna be backstage the whole rest of the fucking video. So I thought it was you. gonna be backstage. I had to find the to say goodbye. That was. I don't talk like this. <laughs> Why not? Listen, it's no. my time. Why do you have to see the spotlight for me, Kevin? <laughs> okay. You know, that's just it's just how I roll, man. <laughs> Listen, it's my All turn. Right, I go ahead, something. Andrew. And that is is um if, if I be if I duck. win um this proves that I have the greatest of all time. Period. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I love the duck too. Um but if I win this, this just proves that I'm the greatest of all time. Nobody can touch me, even though I lost last year. I'm just the best. So yeah, everyone, check out all of these guys' channels. I'll leave links to them, obviously, in the description down below. Very awesome people. Very cool channels. Uh, definitely give them your support. Thanks again for watching. It's been a uh, great shooting this. I hope everyone stays safe out there. Have a good day, good night, whenever you're watching this. And uh, yeah, so this is 22 Tiger Dude here with Kevin, Jackson, Diego, Henry, and the Duck, Andrew. And don't forget that all of us for this Oscar season will always have... Oh, but <laughs> what the fuck?